A new study says Seattle ranks 12th in the country when it comes to rough roads, and the average driver spends hundreds of extra dollars because of it. Coming for us, Matt Markovich is live at the top of Queen Anne, where it's not hard to find a pothole. Matt? That's right, Mary. Some would argue it's very easy to find a pothole in the city of Seattle. The study says 45% of paved roads in Seattle are in poor condition, and it's costing the average driver $625 or more a year. Rattle, rock, and roll. That's what it's like driving nearly half of Seattle roads, according to a new study. TRIP, a Washington, D.C. research firm, ranks Seattle the 12th worst major city with pavements in poor conditions, 45% of them. Behind the top three of L.A., the Bay Area cities, Hugh Rogers would agree. The potholes are just very noticeable yeah. when you drive a car like this. His low-profile wheels are more susceptible to blowouts and potholes. He's had one. The city is putting so much money into bike lanes that we're ignoring uh, the potholes. Speaking of money, the study found rough roads cost the average Seattle driver $625 annually, behind the top three of L.A., Tulsa, San Francisco, and Oakland. So how do they come up with that number? What's well, a combination of depreciation in your car, extra gas, and maintenance like shocks? Meineke Car Care has seen that firsthand. We actually hear that a lot. They say, yeah, we hit a pothole when we're going down the road and it knocked their front end out of alignment. That would be money that they would be able to keep and not spend instead on, on repairing their vehicles or often case seeing their vehicles not last as long as they should because of the rough roads out there. And it's not just cars. Bike riders swerve to avoid unnecessary flats. I'm not drunk. I'm avoiding the, the large cracks and, and holes in the road. This year, Seattle's transportation budget included more money for non-road projects. And the state's transportation budget was a bare bones one when it comes to road maintenance. But keep this in mind, the study's authors are supported by contractors who build transportation projects. It's cheaper to pay for roads being kept in good condition than to pay for driving on rough roads. Now, Tripp points out that a federal study showed federal transportation funds need to increase by 21% just to maintain the major highways we have in their current condition right now. Reporting live in Queen Anne, Matt Markovich, Como 4 News.